Hello, I'm Jerry Roman and welcome back to my channel. The Senate just passed a $370 billion clean energy bill on Sunday and with oil prices skyrocketing this year, the transition to green energy is a hot topic. Renewable energy sources such as wind, solar and hydroelectric currently supply about 25% of the electricity generated by the power sector. And the best news for investors is that we have very profitable green energy stocks that we can invest in and I say this because now is not the time to be investing in high risk companies that are not not profitable. In fact, our current market is at a crossroads and we could either be starting a new bull market if the rally continues up or crash and burn and have the bear market continue. If the S&P 500 cannot break above resistance, then this will be a bear market rally. But regardless of what the market does in the short term, the long term outlook for renewable energy stocks are strong and a $370 billion clean energy bill doesn't hurt. Of course, our elected government loves spending our hard earned tax money during record inflation, but that's a story for another day. My goal on this channel is to find investments where we can make money and today's stocks definitely qualify. Last week we had a lot of great feedback on our new format where I quickly introduced you to the stock, hit the highlights on a side-by-side -side fundamental analysis and then looked at the charts to see how the stock is performing. We'll use that format again today. And before we jump into the best renewable energy stocks, let's take a look at a few of our winning trades last week. All right, our first winning trade is from Dog's Life. Bought PayPal yesterday and sold today for a 12% gain after a great earnings report. Awesome job and and that's really good for a one day profit. Next up, we've got Tarzan 160 finally winning trades this week on the SPY 61.07% gain and on ExxonMobil 26.66%. Great job. And then we've got Bubba, same as Jerry. My Tesla put will expire today for 100% profits. Thank you, Jerry. You're welcome. And also UNG puts will expire today with 100% profits. And that is a natural gas ETF. So well done there. And Dog's Life, one more. Bought DKNG yesterday and sold when it peaks at 19% around midday. Well done, everybody. My Discord is all about helping people make money. And if you want all of our live trading alerts on stocks, options, and crypto, then come join our community. It's a tremendous value and you see the results we get every day. All right, now it's time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. We're now at beastmodeanalysis.com and our first stock today is a mineral stock out of Chile. The ticker is SQM. And you might be wondering, how is this a renewable energy stock? Well, these guys produce and distribute specialty plant nutrients, iodine and its derivatives, lithium and its derivatives, and that's the key part right there. These guys are a big player in the lithium market, specifically lithium carbonates, and this is very heavy with EVs. Number two is Enphase Energy, and they design, develop, manufacture, and sell home energy solutions for the solar photovoltaic industry in the US and internationally. The company offers semiconductor-based microinverters, which converts energy at the individual solar module level. And we can also see up here at the top, these guys are in the semiconductor space. Number three is the DowQ New Energy Corporation, ticker DQ, and these guys are very specialized. They manufacture and sell polysilicone to the photovoltaic product manufacturers. Next up, we have Jinko Solar, ticker JKS, another one in the solar space. These guys also have a very nice market cap of over $3 billion. The fifth company we're looking at today is Solar Edge Technologies, ticker SEDG. We can see they've got a market cap of $17.6 billion and they design, develop, and sell direct current DC optimized inverter systems for solar photovoltaic installations worldwide. Definitely a big company and we can see down here they are also involved with electric vehicle charging. And our sixth and final company today is Canadian Solar, ticker CSIQ. They've got a market cap of roughly $2.5 billion. We're now in the beast mode, side-by-side -side fundamental analysis. I've got the screen blown up a little bit from your feedback, so hopefully it's easier for you guys to see. Across the top, we've got all of the different companies and we can see what industry they're in. For example, SQM is in the chemical industry and we can see that all of our others are in the semiconductor space today. Then we also have the sector, materials and information technology. We can see which exchange they're traded on, our market cap, and we can see our largest one on the day here is gonna be Enphase Energy at 40.8 billion, our smallest on the day 
today is going to be Canadian Solar at 2.5 billion. We can see the enterprise value, the volume, and the daily volume average over the last 50 days. Then we can also see our PE ratio. We can see we've got a down arrow. So if you're new to analyzing, I have cheat sheets here where a down arrow means we want a low value and an up arrow a high value. So our lowest value on the day is actually going to be Dow Q New Energy, ticker DQ. Our highest on the day is Enphase Energy at 200.6. We're now looking at the income statement and this tells us whether or not the companies are making money and the beast mode is broken down to different sections to make it really easy to compare the data and it's also color coded. The most important is going to be light blue. The second most important to me is the light green. So if we look at our operating margin here, we can see our best is DQ coming in at 62.62 and our second best is going to be SQM at 32.25 and our net income margin, we've got the same two winners and we can really see these guys are jumping off the page. Just look at their net income income margin compared to everybody else. SQM is roughly two times anybody else and DQ four times. Next up, let's scroll on down to our balance sheet. And here we can see whether or not the companies are financially stable. And I love to look at the tattle ratio. And we always want that to be above one, ideally two or higher. And our winner on the day here is gonna be DQ again at 4.92. And the way we get this tattle ratio is you simply take the total assets, in this case, $3.344 billion and divide it by the total liability, 680 million. And that gives us the tattle ratio. Our second strongest on the day looks like it's gonna to be SQM at 1.84, followed by SEDGE, SEDG at 1.83. Up next, we're going to look at the key performance metrics. These are all very insightful to a company's overall condition. And you'll notice that everything here is highlighted in blue. That's because I believe they're all important. So let's look at the revenue growth last year. We can see DQ 148.48%. Uh, next up, we've got Enphase Energy very strong at 78.46%, followed by SQM at 57.51%. And next up, we've got Canadian Solar doing very well at 51.79%. Our lagger on the day is going to be Jinko Solar at 19.31%. Still not bad, but you can see everybody else is doing much better. For the free cash flow margin, our winner on the day here is going to be Enphase Energy. Coming in at number two is going to be SQM at 12.52. And a bit of a red flag here is Canadian Solar at negative 15%. And with the beast mode, if you need to know what anything is, all you do is hover over the little eye, a pop-up shows up. And here we can see free cash flow measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations and free cash flow is really important. It just tells us the company is making enough money and has enough money to pay all the bills and grow the business. We can also scroll down. We can see what the rule of 40 is, the FNR indicator, BV ratio. Everything is explained, making the analysis very easy. And speaking of our rule of 40, our winner on the day here is going to be DQ again at 148.44% and that is an insanely high number, something that I definitely like seeing. The FNR indicator, they're all also winning here at 193.05. So here you can see DQ is really separating itself from the rest of the stocks. Management effectiveness tells us how well management is generating returns for investors. And a lot of people look at return on equity. This is great for long-term investors. Our winner here is DQ again at 43.3%. Coming in at number two is going to be Enphase Energy, 31.8, followed by SQM at 21.8. You can also see we've got a bunch of other return ons. And then we've got my 5R indicator. And the 5R just simply sums up these five. The bigger the number, the better. And here we can see our clear winner is DQ coming in at number two, Enphase Energy, and number three, SQM. And our last section of the day is going to be the growth metrics. And I believe companies should be consistently growing their business. And here we can see for net income growth, our winner is DQ 479.7% last year. Number two is SQM 255.9%. Number three is going to be Jinko Solar 221%. Solar Edge 20.5%. Enphase Energy 8.5%. And a bit of a red flag over here for Canadian Solar. They actually shrunk last year going down 35.1%. And now before we jump into the charts, let me give you my top picks on the day. Coming in at number three is going to be Enphase Energy. Coming in at number two is going to be SQM. And these guys should be growing their lithium volumes 30% a year all the way into 2025. They're also a low cost producer and they've got some of the highest margins and they do have significant free cash flow, which will help them. And right now their stock is at about a 30% discount versus historical valuations and against their peers. So I definitely 
definitely like SQM, but there's no denying my number one pick today is going to be DQ. They're simply too strong whenever you look at how they are growing their revenues and their net income margin. Now let's jump over to the charts. All right, we're now in Thinkorswim, and let's just do a quick technical analysis on Canadian Solar, CSIQ. At the top, we've got my percent change bar, and we can see these guys are looking really good, solid green, up 4.8% in the last week, in three months, 32%, and six months, 50%. We also have our risk management bar right here, and if we had a $25,000 account and didn't want to risk more than 5%, it tells us how much to buy, which would be roughly $1,250. Asking the golden question, will I risk $160? $61 and buy 32 shares for $12.38. It gives us our target price of $46.19. Our recommended trail stop would be 13% and our profit per share over here would be $7.52. We can also see our J5 trend is neutral and our EMA trend is bullish. And I now have this set to show the EMA trend. If it's green, it's bullish. If it's white, it's neutral. And if it's red, it's bearish. And we love to be green on green on green. And here we can see looking at our momentum dream indicator, we were in a squeeze popped green right here also had a buy signal and this is the ideal time to get in so if you were looking for this i would want to get in closer to this 20-day moving average right here this little this little light blue line and we can also see canadian solar's revenue growth forecast is solid at 39.5 percent Next up, we have Solar Edge. Here we can see the EMA trend is currently bullish. That's this green bar right here, and it's bouncing off the 20-day moving average. And if you look at our charts down here, we never want to buy whenever it is red on red. And you can see we're just now coming out of the red. So if we're looking for the momentum, we want to see this turn green before we jump in. Jinko Solar, ticker JKS. In the last six months, they're up 52%. We can see they're going sideways right now, and they're actually starting to set up for a potential trade. We can see this first red dot right here. That tells us that we do have a squeeze alert going on. Generally, we like a squeeze that's five dots or more. So this is one to watch. We can also see we're just now hit the first green dot in the squeeze. We're still below the zero line. We're looking for this green on green. In Phase Energy, they've got a beautiful chart. Looking at our percent change bar, we can see in one week they're up 5.9%. In one month, they shot up 45.5%, which is crazy. Over six months, 126%. They also have a very nice revenue growth forecast of 62.5%. And if we're looking at our chart, we can see all this green right here tells us we're in a bullish trend. And if we look over at the EMA trend, we are bullish. And this indicator is also available in my Diamond Discord if you're interested in that. And then if we come down, this shows us exactly what we're looking for. We love a squeeze play, five dots or more that we just talked about. We want the momentum to be going up. And here you can see we went green on green with our buy signal. And shortly thereafter, boom, it was off to the races. And that earnings report really tipped it off there. All right, for SQM, we got a couple of things we like. One thing that jumps out, we've got an 11.2% dividend. Uh, we can also see they've got a net income margin, 20.5%. We just covered that on the beast mode. And we can see the SPX beta. This tells us that they're a little bit more volatile than the S&P 500. And we can also see that our EMA trend right now is none. Good things happen whenever we're trending in the green. And right now, we just went to that no trend. So we wanna wait for this to go green. And then we're also waiting on something to go green on green down here. That's just the simple way of doing it. If it was a high conviction stock for you, you can buy any time whenever you think there is an opportunity. For me personally, I'm gonna wait for this to go green and hopefully then two more greens down below. And our number one pick on the day, DQ. Looking at the charts, we can see they've got a revenue growth forecast of 137.8%. We can also see that they're trading sideways right now. We do have resistance at 77.18, so we'd like to see them break and hold over that. And then if we come down and look at our indicators on the momentum dream and the lower buy sell, you can see we're coming out of the red on red. Best thing we can do right now is simply wait for us to go green on green. You can also see we just entered our first day of the squeeze, which is a great thing. So now I'm just gonna wait this one out and see where it goes. Hopefully we'll get a green on green soon. All right, that covers our best renewable energy stocks and my top two picks today. As always, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want our trade alerts, indicators, free stocks, or free crypto, check out the links down below. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.